We're going to get some of that beautiful Section 8 Cheddar! This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I am your boy, James Wise. This is Holton Wise TV. You want to learn about real estate. You want to learn about Section 8. You want to see what we do, talk to talk, walk to walk, see how it works in the real world. Subscribe, because I help people like you. Like you, Paula, from Austin, Texas. I knew it. I just had to double-check the notes, girl. I knew it, though. I knew it was Austin, Texas, right? I help people like you invest in real estate, right? Invest in highly profitable real estate, right? And what you got going on, Paula, you got $30,000. And uh, you looked into some other things, and we looked into a burr. But, you know, your budget, it's not big enough for a burr, right? Um, not big enough. You were possibly thinking about maybe pulling down some quads. Probably not going to be big enough for that either, right? But what we can really do for you is get you some awesome Section 8 multifamily properties that are going to kick off a really solid return. And I'm going to talk about the numbers, the meat and potatoes on one of those right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Let's talk about this property, right? This is a Section 8 beast, right? It's going to deliver us some Section 8 money, right? 3217 Poe, Cleveland, 44109. On the market three days, we're going to be in a bidding war because it's listed at only 85K, right? There's some things going on with this, okay? This is Section 8 cash flow beast, all right? But here's the deal. There ain't no Section 8 tenants in here. What? Yeah, Jay Wise, getting crazy. Am I clickbaiting you? No. Look, folks, you have to understand. This thing priced at 85K, that's a gift. If this thing was turnkey, Two Section 8 tenants in there paying market rent just wrapped up beautifully in a bow for you. Your ass would not buy it for 85 k It'd be like 110 115 As a matter of fact, I still don't think your ass is going to buy it for 85 k right now. I think best case scenario, you get in a bidding where we got to go 5 k above list. You pull it down for 90 right? The goal is to try to take this down at 90 Why so much? Because... Market rents, Section 8 tenants, when we get it fully rocking and rolling, it's going to bring in 1500 a month, 18 a year. Of course, you don't keep that. You run your fixed and variable expense estimates, right? You're looking at bringing home just shy of nine grand a year. You do normal, traditional residential financing. All you got to do is put down 22 and a half. Bank kicks in 67 and a half. That kicks off a 25% ROI. It's an awesome deal, right? But the video doesn't end there, people, because that's not exactly where we're at. We got to do some work. Got to have some things go our way to be able to get this thing fully occupied and operational via the Section 8 program. You see, what we have, right? And this is what's more common than like, the quote-unquote turnkey stuff, right, is you could buy rental properties from regular, everyday landlords. Oh, by the way, we actually, speaking of how familiar are with we are with the areas, you know, Holton Wise, $200 million in sales, right? We are the biggest name in the game when it comes to the Cleveland market, Section 8 investments. As a matter of fact, if you look at this property right here, right there, it's hard to tell, but that is a Holton Wise sign because that is one of our rental properties, right? We are all over the place in Cleveland, right? But this one. It's just a solid C-grade rental property that's begging for a new investor to come in and make some moolah, right? We have existing long-term tenants in there, right? And they're getting a discounted rent because we got a mom and pop doing the, you know, mom and pop thing, right? Uh, I wrote down the notes of what they told me. 
Tenants maintain the property and are friends with the owner's son, so they get a discount, right? They're paying four sixty and four eighty. These are seven hundred fifty dollar units, people. Okay, but mom and pops, you know, they become friends with their tenants and they have them cut the grass or do this or that. They they justify all types of ways to keep the rent low. Makes no sense, right? And again, this should be like a hundred and ten thousand dollar property, so they're gonna, you know lose what is that if we pick it up at 90 i mean that, they're going to lose 20 grand by not professionally managing it right you're not going to make that mistake though because you're going to have holton wise professionally manage it right so you're looking at 750 dollars units but the current owner you know they're not positioning this in uh the proper way right they're you know being friends with the tenants getting them a break and they're going to lose on it but you're going to win right uh so that allows us to come in and pick it up for so cheap right so what you have to understand, though, with that, right, is it's not like we just buy it and then that day we go in and go, hey, 460, 480 tenants, you guys now pay 750, bada bing, bada boom, story's over, and then they just give us this money, right? That's not how this works, right? And as you tell from all these photos, right, nothing's like wrong with this, but there's a lot of crap in this house, right? There's just like a lot of stuff in here, okay? So what we don't want to do is have those people immediately move out, right? Because to do that, that money we saved buying it because the landlord hasn't positioned it correctly, we would just have to put it right back into the property, getting it renovated, fresh, clean, ready for those new $750 Section 8 tenants, right? So we're going to do something in the middle, right? The uh, mom and pop rent it for $460, $480. Market is $750, $750. We got to do something in the middle to make sure the most money. What we want to do acquire it now at that discount right and then slowly work those tenants up towards that 750 dollars rent roll right if you just immediately do it they're probably gonna move out right but dude 460 480 you can't get an apartment like this for that cheap right but you don't want to totally price them out because they'll move out and then you got to renovate the unit so i'd like to go up 50 100 bucks every single year. Keep them in the property, paying your mortgage, paying you cash flow as long as humanly possible. Don't create a turnover you don't need to create because in this business, there's going to be enough turnovers to go around, right? So you want to work them as close to 750 without a turnover. And then when they eventually do move out, because they will, because that's what happens in the rental game, right? People move out. Then we'll do the rental. Then, then we'll worry about that Section 8 money, right? No sense worrying about it now. What you're buying is a tenant base, not these two particular tenants. These two particular tenants are a short-term money-making opportunity for you to get to your ultimate goal, which is Section 8, 750, 750. But let's get to that goal while making as much money possible. And we're going to do that by getting a discount because this mom-and-pop landlord is not positioning this property in the right way and keeping the existing cash flow coming in the door then after that boom when the time is right set this thing up and get that sweet sweet section 8 cash flow thanks for watching subscribe to holton wise tv for more financial information education and entertainment